Hey guys, I'm really excited about this interview with Alert from The Solos. And if you don't know, The Solos is a collective of sound designers and musicians specializing in trailer music and sound design for cinema. So I'm gonna just head over to the interview and you're welcome to check their website and see all the different titles and projects they've been involved with. Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm here with Alert from The Solos. So I will let him uh, introduce himself. Hi, my name is Alert. I work with The Solos in, uh, in Amsterdam. We are a group of uh, uh, composers and sound designers that, uh, you know, we, we, we work uh, uh, together, but we also work uh, separately. Uh, the Solos is a, a company that specializes in trailer uh, trailer sounds, trailer, trailer music, uh, but also on presets and sound design for plugins. Great. So, uh, well, any particular movies? Any late? Uh, I mean, any of the latest oh, movies? Lately, we've done we've done stuff for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, the Protege. Uh, we've done music and sound design for uh, a whole series of Adidas commercials, uh, that kind of stuff. Great. So, well, may maybe you can tell us just a little bit about your background, your background with synthesizers and sound design. Well, I, I run a synthesizer studio here uh, in, in uh, close to close to Amsterdam. It's in Utrecht, actually. It's called Sonar Traffic. Uh, I have a large uh, number of analog vintage synthesizers here, and the original idea was to let people come over here and record with these machines. That sometimes still happens, but I found out that there's more to be done in uh, sound design and teaching. So I teach a lot about synths and about other electronic music equipment, but also make a lot of presets for Arturia, Native Instruments, Steinberg, and uh, via the solos uh, mostly. Uh, and for, 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 for like, for instance, for Native Instruments, we did Ashlight. Uh, we, we did a lot of the sample content, but also preset content for Ashlight. For Steinberg, we recently did Dark Moss. And then also the, the last bits we did was uh, we did presets for Sequis and Steinberg for native instruments with Sequis and Steinberg materials. Yeah, great. So so uh, obviously um, in my channel you can find uh, reviews uh, on all of these. I really love Ashlight. It's really uh, a fun tool. If you go down, um, you know, and open the sound engine and look inside, there's a lot of possibilities. So on the on the surface, it looks very simple, but when you go inside, there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with the macros, with the effects, and everything. So it's really great. And and by by, by the way, uh, you know, maybe you can uh, give us some hints about the synthesizers behind you. Any any? Icon? Okay. Um... I see Prophet. What is that? Yeah, there's a Prophet Five, and that's like a vintage Prophet Five from uh, I think the late, the early '80s. It's one of the latest uh, models coming off the production line, which has factory MIDI, which is pretty unique. It's a Rev 3.3. Uh, on top of that, of course, is the Juno 106. Uh, there's a Mocha Source a Virus C, uh, MS 2000, and next to that, there's a. Dominion One by MFB, and then there's a little Eurorack case with a lot of ACL stuff in there. And my Elysia uh, X compressor, X expressor, and X filter, Nordlead, obviously, and a couple of pedals and mixers. And that was this is just a little part of the studio because you know, uh, over there, there's yeah. the, a lot more synthesizers. I just put here what I use uh, at the moment. And below the Prof. 5, there's a Quartz Set one, right? So my channel is uh, all about plugins and virtual instruments so maybe maybe you can tell us just a little bit how you know how is it you know how how is the process of uh, building sounds for such tools for virtual instruments and right. plugins you know what, what is the creative process or what is the technical process behind this to start with ashlight uh, we started out with making a lot of sample material so we were bowing cymbals, we were hitting all kinds of stuff, the resonant stuff, uh, recording that in, in as high quality as possible, uh, with some very nice preamps and mics for that. And afterwards, you know, there's like bowing carbon wheels was was also included and uh, a lot of different, different, different materials. And after recording that, there's a lot of processing going on because um, the granular engine needs you to do a certain type of uh, EQing to it to make sure it doesn't get the, the sounds don't become too harsh when you mm -hmm. play them on yeah. uh, really, really fast grains. 
Uh, so a lot of processing, a lot, a lot of dynamic EQing, uh, in, 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 that's actually a lot of work. Uh, uh, here and there, a bit of smart compression going on. So a lot of, lot of layering and smart uh, uh, combining, transitioning of sounds. And that then becomes a source in, in the Ashlight engine. And then, of course, you still have to, have to build a preset around it because the Ashlight engine gives you a lot of possibilities to create completely different sounds from, 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 from a certain source. But this uh, this all is, is actually uh, again really different from making uh, sounds for like for for instance Steinberg Retrolog for which we did uh, Dark Mass, in which you know there of course there is no simple set in that because that's a virtual analog synth, and in that case you decide uh, with the, the 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 manufacturer you decide on a theme. In our case, it was dark cinematic because that's you know it's a bit of the solo signature thing, dark mm -hmm. cinematic stuff, the gritty dark uh, sounds. Um, not necessarily the only thing we do, by the way, but it is our specialty. So you 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 take that in 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 your head, and uh, of course you get to know the synth really well. And you need to know all the features of the synth. So, for instance, you start with the synth, and you play for it like a week, just just to really deeply get to know the machine. So with, with the knowledge that you've gained by studying the plugin and learning to work the plugin, and with the basics of sound design that you know, I've been working with synthesizers since I was 16. Right. Uh, um, yeah, then you, you, you that, that's how you go ahead. You, you work through the team and theme, and of course, also one, one other thing is that there's sound design guidelines. Every, guidelines. Every manufacturer will have a set of guidelines that you will have to adhere to right. when you're yeah, making yeah. these pieces. And these can be really simple things, from make sure that not used parameters are at their default value, something that's really easy to forget, uh, to uh, uh, you have to hit a certain level on the output. Uh, and it shouldn't be below that, but also not above that when you play four notes at full velocity. So how, how does it actually work? Do, uh, do, uh, do you get um, approached by, the, uh, by, by Steinberg or by Native Instruments, or is it just personal connections? Or, you know, how, how do you go about and, and you know, do that work for uh, these large companies? Right. Well, obviously, your network is, is very important here. Um, uh, the solos have uh, been in touch with uh, a lot of these companies for for, uh, for a very long time already. Um, in the case of Steinberg, um, I think at first we approached them and then at some point they started approaching us and, you know, we set up a meeting, we talk about it, uh, Native Instruments. You know, Andre at the solos has been working on like presets for FM8 long, 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 long ago. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, in this case, it's like one email, do you need some stuff from us? And then suddenly that whole connection is is, is, is back up and running. And now it goes both ways. Sometimes Native Instruments comes to us and asks us, hey, guys, we have this product. Do you want to do some sounds for that? We're looking for that kind of sounds. Or uh, what also happens is we send an idea to them mm. and, and see if they want to do something with that. Right, so once uh, you have that channel open, then it flows uh, both ways yeah. and you have that, uh, yeah. you know, that opportunity. I'm, I'm doing a lot of sound design projects and we're also, we, we, we're trying to do more sample libraries and to, we we're also working on a touring art installation at the moment. I can't really talk, talk to Nan about names, but that's good. If that's going to happen, if COVID allows, yeah. that's going to be a real spectacle and it's, it's uh, quite a project, uh, which should, should feel like uh, pretty big, big venues. Um, so that's that's for, for the solos. That's that's uh, a lot of our future future that we're really looking forward to to next year. And on, my, on a personal level, um, I'm in the process of. I have next to me is a 32 channel mixing desk. Mm -hmm. I'm in the process of hooking that up to my computer. I finally found myself a 32 channel in and 32 channel out audio interface. So that's going to be hooked up to my mixing desk, and I can do like I all of us a, always always improving the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the most fun. So yeah, I uh, just recently got this Elysia gear. The, I, the, the, that's just I, I was playing with that yesterday. It's just <laughs> such a treat, such a treat to work on that stuff. It's, I mean, you've used EQs and compressors all your life, and then suddenly, oh, this is what they're supposed to do. <laughs> like it's, it's so much fun to 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 work on on, on quality gear. Yeah. So uh, finally, uh, maybe you as a established sound designer and experienced sound designer any advice any anything that maybe you can share for people that 
uh, maybe at the beginning of their journey or mm -hmm. aspiring to go into that path of sound design? Sure. Um, first of all, uh, never stop learning. Uh, you're always learning. I'm learning every day. Um, still, even uh, you know, even though I played with work with synthesizers since I was 16, I'm still learning new stuff about synthesis. You know, I'm not a big electronics uh, person. I don't really know a lot about proper, you know, the, the schematics of electronics. Mm -hmm. But I'm slowly getting to know the ideas of of how a filter actually works electronically. For me, that's that's still quite a voyage. And uh, I mean, I know what they do and I know what they're supposed to do, but electronically, I didn't know a lot about it. Still learning there. And that also tells you more about the character of the things. So keep learning. Uh, another thing is if you don't have the connections that, that we now have uh, and, and, and give us the opportunity to do the work that we do, start with your friends, start making sounds for your friends. Uh, if you want to do sound design for picture, Find a friend who's into making pictures and ask him, can I do the sound design for your short film? Um, right. And maybe at first don't expect to get paid for that, but do it for fun and do it for learning. It's, and you, you know, even that, that friend of yours that's making this short film could have a career as a director in this future. And that could be your step into the movie industry as a sound designer, for instance. Um, as for, 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 for sounds for synths, you know, if you want to make sounds for synths, um, these days it's really easy to set up your own website and, 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 and right. publish those sounds there. And again, start maybe with a couple of freebies and see if people like them. That, that would be a way to, to, to get started in that, I think. Yeah, yeah great. So um, it been, it's been a pleasure talking with you. and Likewise. You know, learning more about uh, sort of behind the scenes of the solos and you know, professional sound designer. So I will, uh, uh, of course, post this and we'll let, uh, let people comment and maybe they will have some questions and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'm uh, looking I'll forward- I'll check it out and, uh, and hope, to, hope to join in in the, in the comment section. For sure. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing, you know, mostly hearing uh, what uh, more surprises the solos and you bring uh, in the near future. And uh, looking forward again, to the next thank you so much for uh, for allowing me to to do this interview and allowing me to inter uh, to uh, review the products that you've been working so uh, so hard on. And thank you for having us, uh, Uri. Thank you, and bye bye. And, uh, hopefully, we'll talk soon. For sure. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>